Shangriya bana isu na makofi. Shangriya tena. Nwaba tuwabia sifa. Na utukufu ni sako buwana. Minere na minere. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for giving us such a day that we may be gathered in your presence to worship you and to praise your name. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Speak and minister to us according to your riches in glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. To begin, praise and watch my coffee. I hear I touch it to appear my coffee. Amen. Let's open our Bibles as we stand in the presence of God in the book of Judges chapter 3. And because of time, we move fast, verse 12. The Bible says, if you are there, the book of Judges chapter number 3 and verse 12, the Bible says, and the children of Israel did evil again, again. They did evil again in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord strengthened Eglon, the king of Moab, against Israel. In verse 9, 8, they had already sinned against God. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he sold them to the hand of Tushan Lisha, the Im, king of Mesopotamia. And they served him for eight years. And when they cried to God, God raised a deliverer, even Othania. And now again, the Bible says again, they sinned again. They did evil again. And this time, God strengthened Eglon, the king of Moab. And they were taken captive. They saw, they served, verse 14, they served Eglon, the king of Moab, 18 years. But God is merciful, verse 15 says, But when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised them up a deliverer. Again this time, Ehud, son of Gera, a Benjamite, a man of left-handed. You see the Benjamin. We are famed of using their left hand and throwing their skilled arrows to the enemies. And the Bible says, and by the children of Israel sent a present unto Eglon, the king of Moab. But Ehub made him a dagger, which had two angels of Cupid, that he did guard it and his raiment upon his thigh. Verse 21, the Bible says, And Ehud put forth his left hand and took the dagger from the right thigh and thrust it into his belly. Father, we want to sincerely thank you and we welcome you into our surface, empower us, open our understanding. Release your anointing and the liberation, the tongue of the land to write the hearts of men and women that you may receive glory and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We may be seated in the presence of our Lord, Nataka Kuasalimu Nyote, Abaye Muna Nisikilisa Popote Mulipo Katika Jina La Yesu 
Bwana apewe sifa. Haleluya. Tupigie Bwana Yesu makofi ya shangwe na fulaha. Amen. Situchangilie Bwana Yesu na makofi tena. Haleluya. What I am by and those who are watching us from far, we want to welcome you again in our this online service from the Full Gospel Churches of Kenya, Kikuyu. And I trust that God will bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You see, the people of God, Israel, they were not just ordinary people. They were a people of covenant. A people that experienced God. But walikuwa kama na mcheso. They sinned, they went astray. But when they sinned, God left them. Mungu aliwacha walipofanya dhambi ya makusundi. When they decided to obey God, God was with them. It is like when God spoke It's like when God spoke to Asa the king of Israelite chapter number 15 God said to Asa, through Azariah, the son of Obedi, chapter 15, verse 1 to 3, verse 2 says, And he went out to meet Asa, that is uh, Azariah the prophet, and he said to them, Hear ye me, Asa. That's the voice of God through the prophet saying, Hear me, Asa, the king and the Judah. And Benjamin, the Lord is with you while you be with him. And if you seek him, he will be found of you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. In other words, what God was saying is that I am here. And so long as you want my companionship, my fellowship, I am here. I'll be found. If you seek me, you still find me. But at my own time. But the children of Israel, as the Bible says, they neglected God. They left him. They disobeyed. Lakini mungu agali pale. And God says, at my time, if you want to be with me, you shall be with me. So he said, it's your choice. If you want God, he is there. If you want to move in with him, at his own terms, God will be found. When Israel obeyed him, he moved with them. When they strayed, he left them. When they felt that they cannot move with God, then they cried, and God is merciful. His mercies endures forevermore. So, we are like where the children of Israel were. We are like where Habakkuk was. Habakkuk had a prayer. In verse 2 of chapter 3 of Habakkuk, the Bible says, O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid, O Lord. 
Revive thy work in the midst of thy years. In the midst, make known in the love, remember mercy. It's actually like where we are, not only in the nation of Kenya, but in the nation of the world. We have a, a people, especially in Kenya, that has moved with God in the last 100 years when the gospel was preached to our nation. But a time has come where people knowingly and unknowingly have decided to stray and to go out of his love and his ways. It has clearly demonstrated by the children of Israel in the book of Judges. God is with his people so long as they are in God's thumb. And God moved with them. And God pressed them. But the moment they disobeyed, God left them. But the good thing is when they realized their sin and they cried and they prayed, God, mercy, was released upon them. And I feel we are in the same place where we need to pray that God revive us once again. We need to experience the warmth. We need to experience the fellowship. We need to experience the friendship we experienced with you. We need to experience the sweet spirit that our fathers experienced. And we need to move and to be with your heart. You see, the people of Israel experienced God, but they left him. And when they had God, God released his mercy. So it's my prayer that God may be merciful upon us in the name of Jesus. Jina la bwana libarikiwe. Simutu wa inyo mkono wake apia bwana, we need your mercies. We repent for disobedience. We ask you to forgive our sins as a people in the land of Kenya. Forgive us and deliver us from evil. In the name of Jesus. May you raise a deliverer in the nation of Kenya. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a mighty praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Na Bibia inasema, wali polia mungu wakasikia kilio yao, na akainua ehuyu mukoposi. His name was Ehud. When he raised a hood, the Bible says a Benjamite. And God gave a hood an idea of how to deliver Israelites. And he made a two edged dagger, a sword. Imagine God giving a hood an idea to deliver the Israelites. From King Eglon, the Amorite, giants, a dagger, something that was hid by a hood under his thigh. That was the instrument to deliver the people of God under the oppression of Eglon of 18 years. That two edged sword. Cut short the 18 years of oppression. A small thing, just a small thing, that was only what God required to deliver Israelites from the oppression of Eglon. Muntu ambaye alikuwa na magalia vita. 
alikuwa na majeshi na maaskari wenye chuchaa ambao walikuwa wamelalia waisraeli miaka mingi lakini Mungu alitaka kuonesha ukuu wake akaambia huyu mtumishi wake tengeneza kitu kidogo make only a small dagger hide it under your eye your thigh and that was enough to deliver Israel how great is our god god is not relying on our experiences god is not we will not rely on our power just like he told Zechariah that's not by might nor by power but my spirit says the lord there is something supernatural that god would like to use and in our time we need the hand of god not the hand of men hata katika nyakati kama hii ya pandemic tunahitaji mkono wa mungu peke yake jina la bwana libarikiwe haleluya na inatisha kwamba kitu kidogo ndio mungu atatumia atuletee uko bosi maana mungu ni mungu sio binadamu katika jina la Yesu na nijataka kutagaza na kusema what we need today we need as those days of Zerubbabel we need the spirit of god jina la bwana libarikiwe haleluya you know before ehud the children of Israel had sinned and god raised othoniel and the bible says the spirit of god rested upon Ethaniel. that is what we need today and we need to ask god like habakkuk lord revive us again in the midst of the years we knew god we experienced god we moved to the god and we need you now like ever before because we realize it's not by might or power but the holy ghost in the name of jesus shangria bana yesu na makofi you know god is willing to use everybody and each person and he said have a two edged dagger yani kitu ambayo tunahitaji siku ya leo we need a dagger kama vile ile ilikuwa a two aged sword two aged dagger jina la bwana libarikiwe hallelujah yani we need we need something from god we need the spirit and the spirit releasing a sword a two aged sword we need two giftings in this season tunahitaji kuambia bwana aachilie daga yake aachilie kipawa ya wakati maana kila wakati Mungu anaachilia kipawa lakini sio kipawa peke yake nasi kila mtu anahitaji kuomba your daga you need your gift there is a gift that God will give in season every season when God want to move when God want to revive Mungu hafanyi kama vile alivyofanya wakati na mwingine lakini anapeana kipawa ya nyakati kwa hivyo tunahitaji kuambia Bwana nyakati hii aachilie kipawa ya wakati huu a revive us this time with a specific gift and on top of a specific gift we need a specific gift for each of us in the name of Jesus jina bwana libarikiwe shangilia bwana yesu na makovi You know there is a gift of a season. It's a gift of a season, but there's a gift for you as an individual. Kipawa yako. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Mtu anakokuangalia, anajua this is a specific gift for this person. It's an identity for you to be able to empower you to do the works of the of, of the ministry 
in the name of Jesus. Yani you, you need your, your gifting. Kina mtu anaitaji ajue gift yake wakati huu. Hata Bwana Yesu aliambia wanafunzi wake, I give you power and authority. I give you power and authority. And even the disciples they knew walijua we don't have money. John and Peter wakasema we don't have money, but such as I have we have something. These are times that you need to have something. You need we need gifting from heaven in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Wakati wali five sio wakati wa kuondoka bure. Hata Mungu alitumia mtu wake alimpa kitu. Hallelujah. Pige Yesu makovi. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. You know in every generation that God has visited. Maana wakati wa revival ni wakati wa visitation. Kila wakati Mungu alitembelea watu ili awakopoe. Aliinua mtu. Na huyu mtu hakumwacha pule, alimpa ujupe. So any time that God visited the people, he raised a deliverer and the deliverer was given a special message. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. And therefore that he moved God but hallelujah every generation that moved with the God and the servants of went astray they turned to God and prayed God raised a deliverer jina la bwana libarikiwe yes wakati wa waisraeli walipokuwa misri wakainuliwa Musa wana Israeli wakatabea na Musa Mungu akainua akainua Joshua Bwana akaendelea kuinua watu kama Ethaniel akainua watu kama Ehud akainua watu kama Samson ili awalete ukoposi lakini ningeataka ujue I would like you to listen to me carefully when God raised somebody he gave him something and he gave him a message jina la bwana libarikiwe kama musa alipoinuliwa alipewa kijiti na hiyo kijiti ndio mungu alimwambia utaenda na kijiti hii kurete ukoposi kwa na wana wa israeli na akapewa uchupe kwa wazee wa israeli na akapewa uchupe kwa farao akaambia enda wapia farao thus says the Lord God of Israel let my people go we need a testimony we need a message for our time tunahitaji ujupe wa wakati wetu we need to hear thus says the Lord God of his people in the name of Jesus hallelujah kitu ambaye kinakosa wakati huu ni watu ambao wako tayari kuinuka na kuambia Bwana tumeko tumepotea tumefanya dhambi tunataka kurejea tena na kwa sababu Mungu wetu ana rehema nyingi watu wake wanapoinuka na kuomba Bwana Bwana anasikia maombi yao anafungua masikio yake na anasikia dua yao Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Tuchangilie Bwana Yesu na makofi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nasema hallelujah. Nasema hallelujah. Nasema hallelujah. Jamani, we need to go to raise and deliver in our time. Hallelujah. Si mtu ainua mkono wake asema Bwana niko tayari. Katika jina la Yesu kuingia katika nafasi ile niko tayari kutumiwa na wewe niko tayari kupatikana na wewe I am ready God to be used of you in our time and God release a message for the time hallelujah release your word for the time release a word say God 
Release a message. Release that says the Lord. That's what we need to hear in our time. Give Jesus a mighty praise. Shangri Abana Esu na Makofi. Akuna mutu abaya alitumiwa na mungu. Bila kupewa kitu. Nidimesema Musa alipewa kijiti. Joshua alipewa kalubeta tu. Just a trumpet. And he proved allowed Jericho. And the walls collapsed. Hallelujah. I want us to realize it's not by might. It's not by power. But the Holy Ghost. Jina labana libalikiwe. Hallelujah. Imagine Samson. Anapewa the jaw of a donkey. Na hiyo inatosha. Jina labana libalikiwe. Inatosha kwa gamisa. Wa filisti. Jina. Mwana muke moja baya liku anaitu wa Jairi. Wife of Hamba. The Kenite. Jairi alipewa musumali peke yake na nyundo. Musumali na nyundo. Eh? Jeji na wa Israeli. Limechidwa. Na jabasi hii na etu wa Sisela. Lakini mwanamuke. Mungu wakainua mwanamuke. Akamba musumali. Na ita sumamisha. Musumali na nyundo. Ika sumamisha. Jabasi. Na ita nyamasika. Na Israeli wakapata mkoposi. Shambi ya mwana esu.
wanagochea pale Yerusalemu and as they prayed as it is like the custom of the people of God when they pray something spectacular something supernatural happened and the bible says as they tallied in Jerusalem they tallied in prayer they tallied in expectation they tallied in obedience they did not know how the power how they will be endued with the power but they were obedient in the name of Jesus jina la bwana libarikiwe na kwa hivyo walipokochea biblia inasema wakiwa ndani ya nyumba upepo mkali ukaingia ndani ya nyumba ambayo walikuwa wakiomba and the wind begin to blow in the house praise the name of the lord we pray that the wind of the pentecost may blow again in our time but it's not by might it's not by power jina la bwana libarikiwe and as the wind blow suddenly there was the flames of fire and the flames of fire landed upon each one of them and they begin to speak with other tongues as the holy ghost gave them the utterance and they begin to prophesy and all were filled with the holy ghost we need to go back in the house in the tabernacle we need to wait for god for endowment we need to ask god for our daggers for our nails for our hammers for our trumpets for our lords of the season tunahitaji kuambia bwana ni wakati wetu tunahitaji mungu give us our double edged sword for the ministry give us oh god the daggers give us the lord empower us once again in the name of jesus nijataka tusimame tukue mbele zake bwana tukijua kwamba mungu anatarajia kwamba tunapogojea for the endowment endowment we must tally in our jerusalem and we thank god as it was in the day of pentecost the disciples tallied they waited and god empowered them god endured them god filled them with the power that is what we need and this power and the flames of fire that was upon the disciples took them to another level praise the name of the lord they move they begin to speak the gospel they begin to do signs and the wonders because they were endued from heaven we need endowment kama kuna kitu ambaye kinatakikana sasa is the power of the holy ghost we need to ask god we need to tally we need to pray and powers oh god as it was in the day of of the pentecost we lift up our hands and ask god in the name of jesus tunaweza inua mikono yetu kwa mbele ya bwana tumwambie bwana we need to ask god we need our daggers we will get hold a tooth edge sword we need our daggers we need oh god we need you give our message for the time and we need the gifting we need the message of the time the message of the season and we need the gift of the time in the name of jesus tunahitaji bwana unapotutembelea kutuisha tena utupe ujumbe wa wakati na sio ujumbe peke yake utua, utupe bwana fi power ya wakati huu release the gift of the time release the message of the time release the empowerment and do us oh god because we are telling we need our daggers we need the anointing we need the power of the holy ghost move in our season move in our time feed us once again holy ghost reka makata reka makata reka makata sheka makata yes lord in the name of jesus we need to hear from you that says the lord 
We need that thus says the Lord. Reka makatala babo santa. We need that thus says the Lord. Reka makatala ba. Reka makatala ba. We need that says the Lord. We need that says the Lord. We need that says the Lord. Achiri apwana fi pawa. Achiri apwana kichiti. Habauri achiri misri. Achiri kichiti wakati. Achiri apwana upanga. Uri achiri wakati wa ehudi. Achiri apwana misumale. Na nyundo. Uri achiri apwana kawakati. Wade Bola, Achiri Sasa, Katika Jina Laeso, Achiri Abwana Weso, Achiri Mamulaka, Achiri Abwana, Weso Alon Takatifu, Achiri Angubu Alon Takatifu, Achiri Avipawa, Nauponyanji, Achiri Amiujisa, Bwana Sinewa Ulisema, Katika Jina Mweda Muka Upiri Jiri, Na Muka Upa Upiri Jiri, Ponye Wagojwa, Fufua mauti. Alleluia. Shana makata. Sheka makata. Sheka marabasaka. Reka makata. Sinue buwana. Ulisema tukiupiri jiri. Tueke mikono kwa agojwa. Tukeme mapepo. Tuponya wagojwa. Reka makata. Reka mayanta. Empower so God. Empower us in the name of Jesus. As the day of Pentecost, we pray for empowerment. We pray for the anointing, supernatural. Oh God, Sharabakata, Yera Bashanta Lababu, Rekama Shanta Laba, Ye Shanta Labo, Ah Shanta Lababu Santa, Double Edged Sword. Yeah, double edged sword, double edged sword, double edged sword. In Talaba, one of the he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over the devils and to cure diseases. In the name of Jesus, do it again, do it again, double edged sword. Power and authority to cure diseases, to, to of authority over the devils in the name of Jesus, and to heal and to preach the kingdom and to heal the sick. Two edged sword. That's what we pray. Two edged sword. That's our prayer in the name of Jesus. Power and authority. Power and authority. To cast out the devil and to heal the diseases. And the Bible says they went everywhere preaching the gospel, casting out the demons and healing the sick. Lord, lift up your hand. May you revive us again. We are aware, aware. It's not by might, just as you told. Your servant Zerubbabel, it's not by might, it's not by power, but the Holy Ghost. That's what we need, oh God, even as you visit us. Even those who are watching this telecast, wherever you are in the name of Jesus, ask God to release endowment from heaven and to give you the double sword. In the name of Jesus, in one Achiria Kipawa Yawakati, Nachiria Kipa Yako Katika Gina Usite Bebule, Tunakata, Inuamikonako Biabana Nakata, Kute Bebule, Tunaitaji, Kipa Yawakati, Nakipa Habe, it shall be our pana. Oh God, remember us. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. I pray for the listeners and the viewers, wherever you are. I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost over your life. I pray that shall be loose and be set free from every bondage. I send the word of God. I release it that you may be healed from every manner of disease and sick. Be loose 
I decree freedom. Be set free in the name of Jesus. And I pray as you pray for your double-edged sword that you may receive it in the name of Jesus and that you may walk boldly as you enter into the vineyard, as you begin to preach the gospel, as you begin to declare the goodness of heaven in the name of Jesus, that you shall not walk empty, nor naked, but in torment and the anointing and the masses of God over your life. I bless you for whatever you are. Receive your blessing in Jesus. Receive your anointing. Receive your gifting. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise and glory and honor unto you, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. To Pigia Sumakovin. Now, Bakwabo Sierra Nibani Bune. Eh. Now, Bakwabo Sierra Nibani Bune. Pokea Naimani. Now, Akati Wako. Ita Thirika. Katika China. Rayesu Christo. Jina Banari Balikiwe. God must revive us this season. Not only that God is willing to revive us, the Spirit of God must is going to be released. Even at the time of Daniel, I welcome to the compalom upon Yes, no katua sadaka. Yes, Jina Banari Balikiwe. Lakini Jameni to see your doke puli. To be a bona to Naitaji. A season. Naitaji gift, a season. To Naitaji Ujube, a season. A double edged sword. That's what we need in this season. We want to pray for our offerings. And uh, we also we can offer our offering through the, the paper. As it shall be screened to you. And you can also are here can bring their blessings and the offering as we pray together. We ask God the Almighty as we bless your people, as we release to your word, we receive the thanksgiving. Thank you for the offering. We pray that you bless your children. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.